say farewell to the Wabin Arches Aqueduct for now. Ahead lies the Guernsey Paths segment that leads out of Wellesley and carries the Charles River Lake Trail. This is a, an old nine-hole nine golf course, an early one, the Nyhoden or something. I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation. And there's all manner of bird caroling. Now this trail is great. It evidently goes back to Wellesley Center, which is about what I'm ready for at this point. Just heads this way. And the <laughs> enveloping foliage all but buries the arches. And here we are at the other side of it. And it continues this way. There's our trailhead. Nyhoden House parking only. And we're crossing the fairway. Caution. I don't even really know what a fairway is. sense of a golf course. I guess this is something that belongs to Wellesley College or something. Quaint little structures. Nine holes. You can take all I know about golf and put in a symbol and have room for Texas. <laughs> I ain't spoiling this good walk by dragging a bunch of junk around. Oh, I see. This is the parking lot that I saw from the aqueduct. This must be Grove Street, whereupon I'm probably off the hook. I think there might be a little more of another trail I'll fasten myself to called the Brooks Trail. In fact, let's check the map. According to the beloved map, <laughs> yeah, neat little bridge. So, what happens here is the Guernsey Path 
heads off in one direction and we'll come to the brook trail which I'll take through this little bit of suburbia. Over to Grove Street. Jeez, it's quite the picturesque antique golf course. Woodpecker is drumming. Thrum, thrum. Ah, there's our helpful blaze. And I'll poke my head in when I spot the fork. This is the brook path. Well, there's even some lively jungles afoot. This must be the aforementioned brook. It's running fairly clean. channel thing. Who knows what it was intended to do, but certainly doing whatever it is. 